Channel Screen replaces the physical faders and surface controls of other cue mixers and provides a way to control levels when not mixing using an iPad. Tabs allow access to any input, output, DCA and mute group and there is also a user definable custom layer tab. Press a channel select to show an on-screen fader. The virtual fader shown will always be for the selected channel even when viewing another tab. Each fader strip includes mute, pan, on off for the current mix and listen. To the right of the fader there will always be a channel select and an indicator of the current mix. Below this is the select for access to other mixes. The custom layer is configured to show channel 1 to 16 by default. Any combination of inputs or mixes can be assigned to this page. Go to Setup, Control, Custom Layer to change channels shown here. Use the rotary control to select the channel required for the available slot. Go to the home user screen to set permissions or log in as a different profile. Three profiles are available. These are admin, standard and basic. The admin should be the system engineer in charge of the installation and has access to all controls and parameters. Admin can set permissions for the standard and basic profiles. Parameters can be blocked and passwords set to protect system settings from being changed. The standard user could be a less experienced or guest engineer who is allowed access to channel control, input processing and scene recall but is blocked from making changes to routing or output processing. A permission can be set so the standard user can only access the custom layer tab. The basic user could be for non-technical operators such as staff members or volunteers who only need a few controls and should be restricted from accessing any other functions. A permission can also be set so that the basic user can only access queue control or the custom layer tab. Queue control is a unique way of creating a simple interface for basic operation. For example, this could be set up to control music sources and zone levels at a small venue. Only the admin has permission to configure queue control, so you must be logged in before you start. Users can have access to controls such as source selection, level, mute and on-off assignment over five tabs. These tabs could represent different zone outputs. Preparation such as channel naming is useful, as this can help speed up control assignments and tab configuration. Channel and mix naming is done in the processing page by selecting the edit channel name field. Once you have done this, return to queue control, select the tab you wish to configure and press the FN button for setup. In the widget screen you will be able to edit the tab name and 15 available widget slots. Select a widget and function, source and destination options appear. In this example, we're going to add send on off radio buttons to the bar area, allowing staff to switch between three different sources. These are simple switches which allow only one source to be assigned to a mix output at a time. We can also add a master fader to control the overall output volume for this zone and a master mute button. We have now set up a single zone with input selection switching between three different sources with a master volume and mute. By default, send on off radio buttons follow mix send assignments according to the channel routing mix send page, so it is likely they will all be switched on when set up. Cycle through the switches to bring them to the required state if not already configured.